Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, Adams. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Rumble Johnson. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting.
Alvin. Alvin. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be... Oh! Beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, big left! Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful level change leads to the take. -down. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big ball to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, another shot right on the button. Another shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he secured his takedown. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear when his opponent's down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. But yes, because he's always changing up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and pound. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Lands the right hand. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. No, you don't want him on your back. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. He 
takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. Come on, come on, come on, let's go! Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Nice hammer fist. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Johnson. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And the horn sounds on round two. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Oh, my knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job to reverse move. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you know what? Sure, if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 24 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Adam! So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.
is our generation's form of LA Reef from Sony to me, that's like catching Chapo. EA Sports, it's in the game.